Pro Boxing fans here with Brad Foster. Brad, how are you keeping? All good, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thanks, mate. We're here in London ahead of your fight or showdown with Lucian Lethal Reed this Saturday night. Um, Lucian was a standout amateur at the press conference today. We mentioned the fact that you've got limited amateur background. Tell me why that's not going to make a difference on Saturday night. Because um, it's pro boxing now. It's not amateur boxing, is it? Um, so, yeah, that is what it is. And I work, work too hard. Amateur is good. But I ain't got that, but I've beat people who have had amateur background, but I've still beat them. For those that don't follow the sport as closely as some of us, when someone say you've got a better style for the pro game as opposed to the amateurs, what do you think they mean by that? Um, obviously, amateurs more point scoring in it, but there ain't, there ain't really point scoring in pro boxing. Well, there is and there isn't, um, but I'm just going to go in there and try and get the win. Just like he is, it's, it's just a fight at the end of the day. That's how I think of it. We go in there, it's a fight. That's all it is. <laughs> I like your cool, calm demeanour. I think that's, that will serve you well. Um, PJ Rowson, as the story goes, found you fighting in the back of a snooker hole in Trowbridge. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What happened that night? Uh, basically, he just came came down one day and I was sparring. Um, light heavyweights and I was sparring well bigger people than me I can't actually remember it trying to think of it now and you said that uh, he came down to one of my sessions and I was um, sparring bigger people and then obviously from then he's just it is what it is isn't it we've come this far and we've got to keep on going far as I understand the story goes as well the minute he saw you sparring whoever you were sparring in that snooker hall he said you're going to be a British champion um, what did he see that night? Um, I don't know what he sees, but obviously he saw a British champion, and British champion is what I am now. But you have to ask him what he's seen. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. You're also a decorated kickboxing champion. Talk to me about the difficulties in changing codes. Like, what's stopping you from naturally just throwing a roundhouse kick out? I was, I was a kickboxer, but I was always, I always liked using my hands more than than kicking. So I'd get the kicks out of the way, and then I'd, you know, go do the business with the punching. Um, so. It weren't really that too hard. Obviously, there's different footwork, and you have to get good sparring in. I mean, like sparring top professionals to just see how they see how they fight, pick little things up from them. Um, it's just a massive learning curve, and I'm still learning to the day, and I still will be learning. At the presser, you said there's more money in boxing, which is a reason why you took the decision to pursue boxing. What do you prefer, though, kickboxing or boxing? Boxing, boxing. That ain't the reason why I turn, just because of the money, because I like boxing and I love training, but once you've won everything in um, kickboxing and there ain't much more to win and there's not really a reward in it, I want to I wanna go for a new challenge and that was that was pro boxing um, and I'm doing good so far and all. <laughs> uh, one question we're asking everyone today is what motivates you to get out on your runs every morning and um, yeah, w w what's driving you basically? Uh, I think winning keep it. I love the feeling of winning um, and this is what I do this is what I enjoy I love getting that that fire in your belly that fire in your belly feeling um, the uh, the feeling of grafting hard in the gym um, and just having that end goal of winning and uh, finally just tell us exactly why you should tune in and what's going to happen Saturday night um, tune in because it's going to be a great fight a great show at the uh, home of British boxing um, and you're going to see Brad Foster win and still and still, you got some sponsors to mention? Yeah, I've got all these sponsors here, as you can see. Emporium Gym, Trey Tyres, Baxter Williams, Fenham Boxing, Green Monkey, Knuckle Up for all your tape, Team Des Fitness, The Lab. That's where all the hard work takes place, as well as the boxing gym. Um, and loads more, which is on the back of my top. Just, just get, get that down well. there. Just get the back as well. What have yeah. we got on the back? I can't see him. <laughs> but, yeah. We've got, got a lot more sponsors. I just want to thank, thank, thank them, S Hutchins Ayer. Torres or us Erdington, um, they always help out on the journey, so thank you to them. Yeah, sponsors make a big difference when they're coming up. Yeah, of course they do, because it helps me uh, train full time, helps me get new kit and all that sort of stuff, and um, yeah, it helps massively, so thank you. Top man, Brad Foster, good luck Saturday night. Thank you. Good luck.